Let's go. What's going on, Deb? How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. You good? Yeah. You look good. Thank you. You're welcome. You look good too. Got your thank you. Custom merch. Yes, yes. The A trip vest. You have to. A lot of them probably seen this. This is I try to wear my brand more than than anything. You know, like I want to. I want it to feel like Nike to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You see Nike signs everywhere. Like, for me, it's it's a trip. I see a trip everywhere in my closet. You know. And you have now. You have to introduce who you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Well, check it. My name's Anthony, um, a.k.a. A Trip, the energy dealer, as a lot of y'all may know me as. I'm a local musician, hip hop artist, uh, singer, songwriter. I uh, also do some work at GVO, Gallatin Valley Organics, which shout is out. a dispensary. Shout out, shout out, uh, which is a dispensary here in Bozeman, Montana. And I'm Debbie Vetter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Throwing First the last and one. last, huh? <laughs> um, and yeah, I guess I can't do the one namer yet. I'm not quite sure. Gotcha. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. I don't know. Um, this kind of is your town. But yeah, I, Bozeman, born and raised. I own the logo studio and the marketing studio. On the design side, um, graph. I do crap graphic design, um, custom apparel, um, anything printed, promotional products, things like that. On the marketing side. I do marketing consulting, social media marketing, content creation, and I shoot commercials um, for local business owners as well. Man, <laughs> so you do it all clearly. <laughs> yeah. That's hey, that's a hell of a pitch. That's a hell of a pitch. That's dope. That's dope. But speaking of like marketing, mm -hmm. you know how Instagram came out with threads? Yeah. And I was just thinking, like, you know, it's maybe for some of the content creators, it's easy when they can just take content they've already made and push it through the new apps. But this one, I don't know, it's it's one of those things, like, if I had to choose between being on, like, multiple accounts, I'd actually just rather do a podcast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'd rather do this than, like... I was just thinking about that. Like, I started a Threads account, but I don't use it because um, it's more of free thought. Mm -hmm. So it's like in the moment I'm thinking about this, I'm going to put it on Threads. Share it right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not so much. Um, I mean, it's has Twitter-esque to it, but mm -hmm. it's also pulling people from Instagram. And those are already a little bit dem different demographics. Gotcha. So even though it might be similar to how Twitter started, I think the difference is the demographic. Okay. I think I like, I think I like you, you saying you'd rather do a podcast than have them all because I definitely would too. And uh, that kind of explains why we're here, right? Like the yeah. reason why we're here is because we want to connect in a way that um, maybe you can't do on a physical level with how busy we are and how busy other people are. Um, but this gives us a chance to do that. You know what I'm saying? So we can put our thoughts out here. We can put uh, our content out here. We can kind of break this up, get it on Instagram, Facebook, uh, threads, all of them. You know, there's there's so yeah. many new ones popping up. You're usually the one that, uh, that tells me when there's a new one that pops up. <laughs> I just think this is like the best way to get out information because one, it's video and it's audio. But it's also under our own circumstances, from where we want to be videoing from, like, you know, mm -hmm. where we're at right now, to, like, you know, everything we want to use is under our control. If you're using, like, let's say, you know, Twitter or something, like, there's a formula and there's a certain way you have to use it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's hard to stand out from that. But... I know. There's a lot of other podcasts, obviously, but um, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, listen, I think it's it's uh, you were looking that up earlier. There's like three million podcasts in like America Five now, five uh, million, five million podcasts in America. You know, there's a lot of them, you know, so we're jumping in a in a big pool. But I think it's it's um, 
it's important to remember why we're doing it, you know, because yeah. it's not just to jump in that pool of of uh, of podcasters, but where this is this can be uh, of great use to us since we're you know entrepreneurs and and you're building a business and uh, and I'm building a brand and, and then we're building this together uh, and then we're together, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and we have all the tools. Like we had all the tools already to do this. Yeah, for the most part, like there's not much we had to add yeah to to be able to like oh look at all the tools we have to do a podcast when it comes to like the other apps it's time that's like and then i'm just like you know i just really don't have time to just putting my thoughts that's just other people do and that's okay and yeah. i'm entertained by those thoughts mm -hmm. like you know but me personally even as a marketer even i tell my clients just pick one or two right now just yeah. pick where your demographics at so you can focus on something that you can do consistently. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. So that's that's why we're here, you know. Um, also, you've always said, like, whenever we're having conversations at night and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like, the we get into comedy. We do we do little skits and <laughs> stuff like that. It, it gets it gets funny. It gets entertaining, you know, from, from both of our uh, point of views. And it's always like, man, like, you know. People need to see that. Yeah, I exactly. swear, like, we have the funniest moments. And so many times I'm thinking, man, if that was on camera, like, yeah, I would love for people to, like, share in that laughter. Yeah, right. Yeah. It, uh, it would be interesting to put that out there. And then you see, you see people doing that, like, every yeah. day. Be, with these five million podcasts, like, you see them, you know, uh, and you see people kind of marketing just their personalities, you know what I'm saying? They're, yeah. uh, they're what they're doing. They're just doing it in front of people, and then it's it's just uh, helping them kind of get further in their real life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But speaking of that, though, it's the the real life aspect that that makes me kind of stray away from social media stuff. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's why I don't love it the most, um, because it just it just it can create a world that that isn't uh, true or honest. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, so I understand, like, with business, it has so many, um, so many, like, just pros. Yeah, if you use it as a tool. If you use it as a tool, a yeah. A hammer could break your window, but a hammer could also build your house. There you go. And everything, everything has its positive and negatives. Um, even that movie we just watched with the... Oppenheimer. Yeah. You know Oppenheimer. I mean? that, that was like they talked about like how it's a, a positive. Hopefully I'm not mixing this up with something else I read, but wasn't it the idea of like something positive? Um, same thing can be a tool, but then that same tool c could be used as like a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. Like the 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 creation of this this bomb and uh, many like innocent people were. Uh, killed because of it, and then uh, a country thrived because of it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It was like it it, it was positive from this point of view, um, but not from that one. So it's like there's um, there's a lot of different angles yeah. when talking about that. Um, but yeah, I think it's the internet can be a or social media specifically can be a uh, something for a tool that we can use to to kind of help you get further in life. Uh, to help you kind of accomplish goals, uh, or it can be the biggest distraction that, yeah. or the biggest addiction that is like just you can't get away from because it's everywhere. It's like junk food. It's like I know deep down I shouldn't care about this, but uh, let me let me read it. Let me read it anyways. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know. But I think uh, we'll be able to get a lot done with sitting here and having these conversations. You know, even just to be able to, we get so busy sometimes, we're on, like, you know, different schedules. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, for the most part, always, you know, seeing you in the morning, seeing you at night is, like, a constant, you know what I'm saying? But uh, for the most part, it's, you know, you get so busy, you just don't get to sit down and have conversations. Talk about the things you need to talk about, uh, whether it's uh, how we're going to grow um, the business or... The brand, you know, mm -hmm. taking care of the kid, 
you know, like just whatever we need to get done. Yeah. I feel like this can kind of be a platform that we can. Yeah, we'll use this podcast as a journaling. We'll use it as a way to shout people out. We'll use it as a way to expand our knowledge, talk to people. Like one of the best things I love about social media, though, no matter what platform it is, is the comments. Like, yeah, okay, those are so. I can see that. I those see are that. the comments are just so entertaining. Like, I, I find myself reading the caption and then just go away. And I'm sure it's the most, but I just find myself, you know, when it's like, read the story at the link in bio. I'm like, nah, comments. And then <laughs> right to the comments. Yeah. Okay. And then everyone's yeah. just like, here, yeah. I'll save you a click. And everyone's like, oh, thanks, man. And then and then you just the people that are funny and witty, you know, or you've got the people that are like. Don't believe this. They're distracting you. And like they're more political. Uh-huh. And then you got the other people that, you know, are actually talking about it or, you know, but mm. it's just like the comments. It's like to me. Uh, yeah, to me, that's like the best part of social media. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of so. But basically, though, all that is is you jumping into the pool of what the people think about yeah. something that one of the people posted. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you, you get to kind of see what the community of that comment. The comments area are more authentic than anything that's ever posted because what's posted is either a fabricated story, something to look good, like a caption. Yeah. Or yeah, it's either fabricated or it's really not like of the. It's, it's not educating, you know. It's just not. Or it's clickbait. Yeah, and so you go to the comments, and it's like that's where the real conversation is. It's, you know, that's why so many people have a hard time on social media with their businesses because they forget how to connect to the people because they're thinking like from like a, what does my business say? And it's supposed to be, what do you, what do you say? Like when you speak through your business, that is your business speaking. Yeah. So it's like they get caught up, like yeah. forgetting to be themselves through their marketing. And that's why I'm different with what I do is because anyone can make a commercial. Anyone <laughs> can make a commercial. Um, but it takes a certain something to be able to like dig down to like what people want and how to present that. And, um, yeah, it's not. And then kind of too, like you got to think about how the public's going to accept that. Like, cause you want them to receive it. Well, that's the point of a commercial, right? So like, how is it going to be the most efficient, efficient, the most efficiently received? You know what I mean? Yeah. So So yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. So people just need to be more real because that's, there's real people on social media interacting with you. Mm-hmm. So if you're just trying to look like a template of a business, if you're just going on Canva and you're just like getting a template of, of a, let's say you sell perfume and you're just getting a template perfume pre-designed thing, is that really you? You know, is that even your product? Go take pictures of your product. Like <laughs> That's not even yeah. your product. Like you yeah, have to like, yourself. even promote if your the business. picture of your product is like not the best yet. Who cares? Like, that's where social media is going. It wants to see transparency. It wants to sh- see things that are raw. It wants to know who you are. You are, not the business. Who Who's running the business? Like, that's what people want to know now. Yeah. That's how they want to interact. The person behind it, the personality, the face. Yeah. You so, know? for me, this is the best way to show people my personality. I really don't think I can do it as well as others can through some of the certain social media stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so show us some personality. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Show us some personality, um, though. Yeah. But I do want to talk already because... Started. You already got started. Yeah. I do want to talk about you. Okay. Because you have some really exciting events coming up, and I just want to make sure we talk about <sighs> that. So first... Okay. So first, uh, first coming up will be performing with uh, Page and the People's Band, yeah. August third. Right? Music on Main. Music on Main Thursday. Um, looking forward to that. I really band's very talented. You know uh, our relationship with Page. Um, I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be fun. And I've actually known Page since 
kindergarten. Oh. Yeah. See? Look at that. Yeah, small town. It's very small town. And now, you know, uh, I'll be performing with her at Music of Maine. So, yeah. you know, with her in the band. I'm a, it's 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 really going to be like a, a, a newer, a, yeah, I'd say a new experience for me. It is. Performing good. with a full, like a full band, you know. And kind of doing some um, some cover work. Mm-hmm. Also, it, it, it's um, a lot. It's actually a lot of news because you're going to introduce yourself to Bozeman in a way you haven't done before. Okay. So I like the sound I'm of that. E- I'm excited for that. I like the sound of that. Yeah, um, it's going to be fun. You know, music. I mean, is always uh, just an interesting, you know, just pleasant event. In general, just kind of walking around, seeing all the people, all the vendors, everybody just enjoying the sun, you know, enjoying the, so the community. We went two weeks ago because Jessup was in town. Shout out Jessup. Shout out Jessup, Jessup 11. 11. <laughs> and we um, decided to do some social media content for Pickleboro. Um, they're sponsoring Kenneth, who plays for the MSU Bobcats. And so uh, we thought it'd be fun to go downtown, ask people trivia about Pickle Barrel, the cool thing about that is that the questions we're asking is marketable. Um, so that's why kind of going back to like anyone can shoot something, it just really comes down to that creative, you know, the creative aspect. So it was both we were getting Kenneth for his sponsorship, we're getting him content, but at the same time we're still advertising Pickle Barrel not only to the people that we're going up to, but also just in general anyone that ends up watching the video. Yeah, you know, cause, um, but yeah, and that's honestly like the first one I've been to, and I don't even know how many years. Maybe I think it's the last. You know what the last one was is with Kartik and Irvi. <laughs> so yeah, that and so, so we've been together seven years. So that was about six years ago. So it's been six years since I've been to one. Me too. Wow. Yeah. I mean, and you go there. Yeah. And the one thing that hasn't changed is, like, everyone's in a really good mood. Like, when we were shooting content, like, it was, like, pure gold. Like, everyone was... You find people at their best. They're there to have a good time. Everyone was so willing to participate. And, like, yeah, it was a lot of fun, actually. It was. It was. And we were working. You know what I'm saying? We weren't even really there to kind of hang out and socialize, which often times is the case you know we're at when we're with jessup <laughs> you know or just out in general it's, you, there's usually some sort of work being done uh you know getting some content um you know this this like we were talking about this earlier this month this year in particular has been just like difficult you know so like for a lot of people for, for a lot of people um and it's um it's changed a lot of routine so you know mm. That's had to do a lot with us not kind of being out also as uh, is dealing with, you know, losses, uh, losing my mother, um, father before that, um, you know, um, okay. a couple of aunties, my my friend. Uh, it, it's, you know, it's, it's been tough. So we're, we're learning to heal. And I think this is kind of a part of that as well, at least for me. It's like I feel like. You know, I'm sitting down here with my favorite person, <laughs> you know, and we're having we're having a conversation that's that's gonna help us build for the future. You know, what I'm saying accomplish our goals and everything. It's funny you say that because I, as like we were coming here, I was thinking, like, oh my gosh, this has been a crazy year because I was thinking about it's almost August, and then I got freaked out because I don't want summer to end. <laughs> <laughs> and so you know, the uh, snow's right around the corner. Oh my gosh, the so snow's just waiting there, looking like mm, I know. Here I come. And I thought, wow, like, wh- who would have thought, like, in the middle of all this chaos, we would have been like, yeah, let's do a podcast. <laughs> I know, right? I, know, I, like, I think it comes down to the fact that we had, like you said, we had all of this here already. Yeah. It was just it was just kind of just making like a, well, not even making, just kind of creating well, a set a little bit and just and doing already, it. You, I mean, you have some podcasts already with a trip podcast. Yeah, that's a trip podcast. So. Shout out that's a trip podcast, yeah. you know, where I sit down with with uh local musicians and, and creatives of all kind and we just have a conversation just about their process, what they're doing, you know, the kind of footwork, the footwork under the water. They say, mm. you know, a duck looks nice and calm on the surface, but underneath he's you see that motor going, you see those feet going crazy. So That's what my feet are doing right now under the table. Yeah. It's yeah. a good thing. 
<laughs> we got that cut out the set. We can do whatever we want. This is like uh, going to work during the COVID period, right? You, you don't need pants on right now. Hand check. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, but you have one more you announcement with okay, your music. Okay, um, so where was I? So uh, the music, music in Maine, Maine um, the uh, Rap in the Rivers Music Festival, uh, August 18th, I'm performing. 6.45, my set starts. I'll be there with... Uh, my guy Mellow Mike and doing a song with uh, P. Dale Castro also. It's gonna be fire. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. This is like the first show I've done um in a while. Yeah. This year? Mm. Did I do a show this year before? Maybe. It's like a blur. I don't remember. We'll Maybe. I, I remember I did a show for for, for Nick and, and Livingston. I don't I don't remember when, but um uh, that could have been but last still, year. Still it's been a while because you did a it's festival. Been a while. <laughs> Our first festival we ever went to. Shine Festival? Yes. Shine Festival. Shout out my guy there's Gabe. N- man. There's nothing wrong. I'm laughing because of our. It was just a new experience. It was a new experience, but like we had no idea it was in the middle of nowhere in the woods. And it had been a long time since I've been in the middle of nowhere in the woods. So yeah. we came so unprepared. I oh, felt absolutely. horrible for that. And, and, we, and, and my we mom brought, was with us. We brought his mom and. I get cold easily, but she gets cold even more easily. And when you're in the middle of the woods, it gets very cold at night. And we were so unprepared. But it was such a good experience. Yeah, it was really fun. And, um, but yeah, that's been a while. So this will be like, you know, and this one uh, will have like EDM and other stuff. So like yeah. anybody that just wants to have a good time and listen to music, like this would be the time. Yeah. For two days, uh, 18th and the 19th of August. Yeah. Um, shout out Nick Busy, putting that together, and, and all the sponsors and everybody And we have tickets. With. If anybody needs tickets, we'll just throw that out there. Yeah, for sure. $100 a ticket. Uh, it is for the show. I have tickets for the show. Um, you can also buy tickets for the camp, for the campsite also. Yeah. And uh, Ventbrite. Um, hit Nick Busy. Grab those tickets. It's, it, that's going to be that's gonna be a fun, so I'm looking forward to that. The... Um, you know, and then there's a few more shows that we're kind of working out right now with um, with Jake. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we're we're looking forward to you know shout out Jake, shout out Justin, uh, Bigger, um, shout out my guy Steve that kind of connected all that together. Yeah. You know, um, shout out the Tune Up Bar, man. That's uh that's kind of where we we've been watching them. Perform yeah. At if a you haven't times. been and you just want like. An experience that doesn't feel like you're in Bozeman and you kind of, I want, it's not in a negative way, but like a city vibe to it, but like an underground club vibe where all are welcome. It's just one of those things where yeah, it's like at the bottom of a motel, you, most locals could miss it so easily. Yeah. There's a whole vibe to it. Yeah. It has that, that, that uh, outside basement entrance. It kind of just yeah. separates it from the other buildings around it. You kind of go in there. You get that kind of under yeah, underground city night club. Lit. On, it's like very it's sexy. small though. Yeah, uh, uh, like a city jazz club, I say. Yeah, you know, it, and then it's the, really the sound quality. I, I mean, it's a little amazing. stage, but they fit a lot up there, and the sound quality is just perfect. Yes, yes. Again, Jake, dialing dialing those things in. Get, yeah. getting it getting it right so i'm looking forward to performing there so yeah um uh, sometime in sem- september um i should be performing there with jake so yeah. you know i'm looking forward to that uh looking forward to working with um mellow over at mountain music uh shout out mountain music mellow mike um working on a project with him uh that is going to be you know uh, we don't really we're not talking release dates and stuff right now but uh, the product is coming along great. It's amazing, and I can't wait to get that one out because the sound of it is is very like jazz, like a jazz hip hop sound, mm-hmm. and it um, it's something it, it's it's a new it's a newer sound for me. So it sounds a little different than some of the stuff I've done before, uh, but still very hip hop, very authentic. Yeah, you know, it's so just I'm looking forward to right that. now. Yeah, it's just marinating. That's it. But so you realize that your music's progressed every time. There's always a little bit of. Think so. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. But I mean, lyric-wise, th- you know, you talk about different subjects. You have a lot to say, and you're, you know, and you put it together. 
in such a creative, intellectual way. So, I don't know. I don't think there's anything you really can't do. Well, thank you. I appreciate mm-hmm. that. I appreciate <laughs> that. Yeah. You trying to give me all warm and fuzzy, <laughs> fuzzy on the on the show on the first, the first epi? You trying right, to give me all warm and fuzzy on the first like epi? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't argue that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I think for a future podcast, you know, we just want to have fun. We just want to like. This is our odd way of being social. Exactly. Which, it is what it is. which you know, <laughs> um, we can't be that weird if there's, you know, five million other yeah, I know. people doing the same thing. So shout out y'all. Shout out to five million podcasters out there because, I mean. They make it, it look easy. Yeah, they do. And they make a market for it. So, you know, if what, what was it, 40, 40% of uh, Americans uh, are listening are listening to podcasts. So. On a, like a monthly basis. On a monthly basis, so you know, it's um, one out of. I know I got a couple favorites, um, that I like to listen to, yeah. you know, and um, I'm sure you got a few, and you know, everybody has a few clearly. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, so hopefully we're able to just keep doing this and um, just yeah. putting it out there, putting our energy out in the universe, because I feel like that's what we're doing too. We're putting our energy out in the universe, mm-hmm. you know, because like. This is a way to socialize with people that we haven't seen and that, like, we don't know if we will see. You know what I'm saying? It's just out there. It's out there forever on the internet. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You feel me? Um, Yeah. I mean, so do you have anything coming up that you're working on, that you're doing that? Um, I have, yeah, I mean, always little small stuff, but something bigger, I guess, I have going on is Monday I meet with Pickle Barrel and um, proposing to do a documentary for them. Oh, so okay. Yeah. The owner, the original owner of the Pickle Barrel is still around. He lives uh, close by. Um, and then Jen, the current owner, she used to work there. And then when Ken retired, um, she bought it out. So it's really cool how integrated, you know, they are with, I mean, to anybody else, it's just a sandwich shop. But, like, when your business is your baby... Yeah, and there's a story behind it. It's that's why I love working and with them. And there's so much history. And history I just knew that, like, I just know that they there's something so special about them because being their marketing manager, I get to see behind the scenes, and all I see all the time is people from all over the United States, commenting, messaging, leaving reviews all over the world, sometimes as well, and just being like, oh my gosh, like. I'd do anything to eat there again. Like, I went out of my way to eat there. I drove this many miles to eat there. And that's why they started shipping sandwiches, like, overnight. Around the world. Yeah, because yeah. they were like, okay, everyone keeps bothering us. Not bothering, but everyone keeps, like, poking at us. Like, mm-hmm. we want your food. They want sandwiches and even when they're not here. Yeah, you it's know? wild. And so Good problem to have. I was like, man, like, again, it's kind of one of those things where it's, like, it's hard to really encapsulate that in social media sometimes. I, I can take, it, their marketing is fun because the crew is just, their employees are just like yeah. the Shout best. out Ian. They're such Shout out Ian, man. Is that his name? No, Corey. Corey. <laughs> it's okay. And, uh, yeah, Corey's Oh, name. Ian's another customer that comes in Galatine Valley Organics. Um, shout out him, though. <laughs> I rock with Ian, but shout out Corey. Yeah. You know, Corey... Corey's been a there cool a long dude. time I really too, like Corey. and Corey he's comes got, in a he, lot. Yeah, he's even got a story like of how he first worked there, and yeah, there's just so much richness to them. Um, and so I was like, you know what, like with Ken and stuff, like like this story needs to be put together. They've had small articles in the newspaper, you know, or like the radio station um, will pick up, and they all the time they're making like top ten lists all the time, yeah. either state wise. Um, sometimes nationwide. And so, yeah, I was just like, let's, they're having a 50th year anniversary next summer. Okay. So I thought, one, let's shoot a documentary because I've always wanted to do that. And um, two, um, I think it would be great to show at the anniversary. Yeah. That sounds big, you know. Yeah. Like, that sounds really big for them. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Um, but other so when are you planning on uh, jumping into that? Um, so I meet Monday, and then from there we'll set, like, a time schedule. I want to film, obviously, in the summer just for the yeah. the fact of, like, that's 
the best time the shop looks has flowers and you know it looks all cozy and so um i I mean ideally sometime in august yeah yeah so soon i mean you got recent history to add to it with the filming you just did last week right yeah yeah so that's that's really dope it's gonna tie in the community because everybody was jumping in wanting to say how much they love pickle barrel you yeah. know, even the people that didn't want to be on camera, they were just like, I love Pickle Barrel, but I don't want to be on camera. Yeah, you know? I, that's why I was saying, like, the energy was so good because people were saying things and we didn't even pay them to do it. <laughs> they were just, yeah. like, so willing to, like, be kind and shout out Pickle Barrel or their favorite sandwich or, you know, and it was just like, man, like, that's gold for content. That's why you have to take those chances. That's why you have to, that's why they always say when you have an idea, just go for it. Yeah. Because you can't even really technically predict the outcome. It could be better than you thought. It could be worse than you thought. But, you know. But you got to go for it. Yeah, I'm so glad we did. So. Me too. Yeah. So next time we chat, I'll have more updates. Okay. And next week, time we chat, you'll probably have already done music on there. Yeah. So. Yeah. So uh, you keep saying next time, so that means that that uh, we're going to do this again? <laughs> you want to have a second podcast date? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think we should. Right. I think we should. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs>